Welcome to the second tutorial on TiboCam. In the first tutorial we had a general familiarization tour with TiboCam. In this tutorial we're going to set up a webcam and set up motion detection. So the first thing to do is to attach your webcam if it's not already attached. Once your webcam has been recognized by your computer system you can then go up and select your webcam by clicking on the select webcam button and selecting the webcam you have attached. My computer recognised the webcam as yours will the second time you start up TiboCam as I had it set within my settings. The next thing we need to do is set the sensitivity of TiboCam. At the moment we have the sensitivity set to 14. If we go and click on the show level button any time movement is detected what will happen is you'll see a green and red bar appearing to the left of the webcam window. Now the red bar shows us when movement detection will be triggered. The green bar shows us the safe zone when it won't be. I'm going to change the sensitivity to 30 and we'll see what happens. So now the sensitivity is changed to 30. You'll see movement will only be triggered, movement detection will only be triggered when it reaches 30 and above. The best way to set sensitivity is to use the train button. The train button will allow you to train TiboCam to detect sensitivity at the level you want movement detection to be triggered. When you click on the train button you'll be given a 10 second countdown. Position yourself somewhere where you want to perhaps walk through a door. Once recording starts you can start your movements and at the end of the recording what will happen is that TiboCam will average out the movements and set the sensitivity. As you see here it set the sensitivity to 38. Once you've set your sensitivity level you can then set up your activation times. Now you can set up the time in seconds or at a particular time. If you set it in set seconds as it's set at the moment when you press active it will count down I've set it 500 seconds till it starts. If you set the time for instance at 2.15 in the afternoon then when you activate it will count down the seconds until it reaches that time. I'll just show you what happens if we set TiboCam with let's say 5 seconds. So I activate TiboCam and it counts down 5 seconds once five seconds has started, now TiboCam is live and active. Any movement made that goes over the threshold you've set by sensitivity will trigger motion detection. You can also set TiboCam to activate at startup. Activating at startup means when TiboCam net starts, it will activate straight away. You can also activate TiboCam to start motion detection immediately. Thank you for watching this second tutorial on TiboCam. In the next tutorial we're going to be looking at the email and FTP tab. We're going to be looking at how to set up notifications to arrive to us via email when motion detection is triggered.